In this world, apocalypse has fallen. War, disease, and decimation led to a plague that cannot be defeated. A plague of zombies, the dead, risen from the afterlife. While the military attempts to grasp tightly to the ways of the past, others have begun to live by their own means in this new forsaken world. The remaining humans must unite together to fight off the infectious dead, and worse, the living. Welcome to Origin Z. Darn it. Why does there have to be so many train tracks around this city? A train car, he says. Yeah. And the uh, warehouse. There's a bunch of those. Gosh, darn it. Well, this looks like a train car, but not the one he was telling me about. Also, it's completely empty. <sighs> what I wouldn't... Oh! Hello! Hello! Huh? Hi! Ah! Jeez! I know you! Mars? Marshy, yes. D okay, first and foremost, you are really quiet, you know that? And sneaky. Uh, well, I mean, I was just walking on the tracks and I saw you and I decided to spook you. Yeah. You should also go to there considering my normal reflexes, I shoot people that spook me. But you didn't, so that's good. Well, considering it, well, that jacket is kind of hot. Well, the blue hair and black jacket, kind of easy to recognize. <laughs> you don't have your band-aids anymore. Yeah, more or less recovered a bit at this point. That's good. Yeah, still hurts a bit, but I'll survive. <laughs> I hope. You'll be fine. What are you yeah. doing here? Uh, following up on some clues. Clues and that. Clues? Clues? You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't happen to have seen a train cart full of bodies, now would you? There's a train cart? Yeah, but full of corpses, you know. Uh, I think he would smell it. I didn't smell it. Yeah, that's why I know this isn't the one. Also, he, he said it was near a warehouse. I don't see a warehouse here. Just follow the tracks. I've been doing that for a while now. Hmm. I really should have had Astrid for a more specific loca location. Why are you trying to find a train track with bodies? Because I am hoping it will lead me to a certain person. Who? You really want to know know that, don't you? No, well, baby, I know the person. Okay, fine, fine. Does the name Kirk ring a bell? No. See, then you, then I don't can get any more use of that. Hmm. But I know you try. But hey, at least you try. But seriously, don't try and poke your nose into other people's stuff too much, okay? It sometimes ends up get, would get you getting killed, or the end of a uh -uh. gun. I'm just speaking from experience. You usually end up at a at gunpoint. No, that was just. How many times was it? Well, Maybe, was... like, two? Well, there was two times with me. 
and now uh, somehow I get the feeling that I was not the first one who did who did that. You know, uh, maybe. Hmm. So what you're doing out here, kid? I got bored, so I walked around and I got lost. You, you walked around. Yeah. In a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Do Maybe I got my weapons. At least you are not. Well, at least you are prepared. And how do you get lost? It's big. It's a lot big. of twists and turns. You've never been a. I thought your group was a lot of those who just went out and in and out all the time. Didn't really stick to a place except that top we, one building. We, we do, but it's still big, and I get lost. Uh, you know how your life life is still baffling me, be, me. But I guess you want to help me look a bit for supplies as well. I'm a little low on I'm a little low on ammo and uh, that. Okay. Oh, do I have ammo? No, I don't. I just put it away. Just follow me. So didn't ask you this last time, but what's your story, kid? You got what any story? Yeah. Um, I have a story about a dragon. No, more like, why? Were you born in the city? Did you come here or what? You know, before the whole outbreak? Oh, I was born here. Oh, that's good. Huh. Oh. <laughs> that's good to know. What's the... Anything else? No. You got any... F you still got any relatives out here? Family? Friends? Still alive? Not tuned? Tune to zombie food or worse, one of the freakers. I don't know. You are, you are really optimistic, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, like it, the sun's shining, so that's a good. Yeah. As long as the sun's shining, it's okay. Yeah, and as long as it's up, it's daytime. We don't have to worry too much about the freakers out there, since they're more aggressive at night. You did know mm -hmm. that, right? Oh, yeah, we, yeah, the whole... Yeah, actually, do you, have, do you know more about that that big zombie you talked about before? And what are you... You get It's it. all bug. Yeah, just ignore it, it's just bug. Like, you know anything more about that big, big zombie? Like, maybe mm. seen it more? Or anything like it? No, I haven't seen it in a while. We're not allowed to go over there. I thought you, you people, you misfits didn't have any rules. That was our only rule. You don't have any rules, and you make one rule about staying away from a giant zombie. Mm -hmm. How? I'd say that that's weird, but that's ex. But for what? But that's actually a good rule. So. <sighs> but. Uh, well, there's a. Hey, I didn't notice the gas station. Wonder if there's still anything. I wonder if the pump still works. Nah, it's empty. Darn it. Lame. Yeah. So you real So you really think that every is everything really just okay with you considering everything that's happening? I mean, nothing terrible has happened. <sighs> and I <laughs> Yeah, right. Nothing terrible. Kid, you're probably one of the best people that are still out here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, you're pretty cool too. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you knew me better, you might not be saying that. Ah. Uh. I've done things I'm not exactly proud of. That's okay, we all have. You really don't know what I have done. I didn't do good in math. I'm, I'm not <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> uh, kid, you you really know how to crack me up. Hmm. Well, that's good. Because laughing is good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know who you remind me of a little bit? Hmm. You remind me of an old friend. Co of an old friend. Her name was Sally. Sally? Yeah. 
<sighs> she was part of my old, my old squad I was a part of. Of. <laughs> she was kind and all that. And she looked after us all. Well, considering she was the medic of the team, kind of made sense. And she was always the one who could set us straight and... <laughs> always the optimistic one, even in dark times. Where'd she... Where is she now? You know, shall... Let's, let's just go on. On... We have talked enough my, about my boring past, you know. So you sure you don't have any anyone you, you are still looking for? Most people I've met are still looking for their friends, family, etc., etc. No. no, just wandering. Huh? You really don't have anything else to do? What about your misfit friends? I mean, they're nice, but I don't know. Eh, yeah. I guess you'd well. Sometimes I guess. staying at the tower gets boring. <laughs> I guess I can't exactly argue with that, considering what I'm doing most of the time. <sighs> you know, you're a good, you're a good kid, but we should probably get going. It's before it gets nighttime and all that. Mm -hmm. Come on, I know a good place we can hang out there. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. <laughs> this place may seem a little bit familiar. Ooh. Yep. Just don't give. Th Welcome to my little home away from home, you may say. Oh. Done. Do you ever get lonely? Eh, maybe a little. A little, but some it's sometimes for the best. Lonely's not good. <laughs> what I do, sometimes you have to be alone for for days on a, at a time, so I'm used to it. That's not good. So, yeah, feel free to stay here. We can stay here a bit until, we can stay here a, a bit, a bit and all that. Haven't exactly, yeah, let's just say when I got here, there, everything that, everything that was nailed down. Was was taken, and second time I got here, everything that was still then was taken. Is that way so empty? Yep. There's a you should there's a there's an IKEA by the Misfits Tower. You should go get stuff. I don't need no stuff there. I don't need stuff. The less there's here, the better actually. But it would be more homely if you had more stuff. I don't really need stuff like that. Why? Because I don't stay here for long for good reason. Besides, I already have the mate. There's already a safe haven. Mm, oh, yeah. This is just a little place I stand. And unfortunately, since, they are, since there's no toilet here, if you absolutely have to use it, yeah, let's just say that bucket is not there for clean water. Oh. Just gonna tell you that. Okay, seems coast is clear here. We can stay here. Here and all that good stuff. Oh, that reminds me. Do, do, do. Mm. There we go. Do, 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 do. Boop. Here you go. Ooh. I found an extra sleeping bag on my. while I was out on one of my scoutings, so I brought it here in case. But I guess you can use it. Okay. Yeah. It's blue. So you can feel free to just come here, lay down and stuff when you're over, and hide out if you ever need to. If you're ever on the run and that stuff, most people don't doesn't know about this place and they rarely check it, unless someone wants to rob a bank in the area. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, who wants money in these times? Am I right? Oh. Some people do. Yeah. Wonder why he even need that money for anyway. I mean, it's not like he, he's anyone's gonna sp stop him if he takes stuff from stores, anything like that. I don't know. Yeah. 
so feel free to just relax and that uh, I can take the first shift. I can take a first uh, st shift and all that of uh, scouting out and keep a lookout. You just rest in that I mean, if you want to. It's still daytime, so I think it'll be fine. Yeah, but hey, if you, yeah, but hey, as I said, if you ever feel like like this, come here and you'll be safe. Safe. I usually come here, and I'll usually be able to come come here every now and then. So yeah. Okay. Well, I should probably get back to searching for the clues and all that. You're welcome to stay here a bit or be on your way and all that. Hmm. Okay. Besides, something just tells me that something bad is gonna happen soon, but I don't know what. Just a gut feeling. You know that? Uh, I don't like that. That's not a good feeling. Yeah, probably not. Uh, so, yeah. I'll let me you... But you know what? I'll let you make a call. You want... Should we stay here a while? Or do you want to move out? Or do you want to move out? I... Wait. What if I help you with the clues? <laughs> That's sweet of you. You kid, but... Trust me, I don't think you wanna... Wanna get in... It's best if you not get involved with what I'm dealing with. What? Why? The last time I, I followed the clue led me to the library. And I, already, and I already told you that story. Okay. But if there's two people, it will be easier to take on the monsters. That monster, I don't think that's gonna happen. Happen, or it would be easier. And I just, I just can't deal with more deaths than already. And that, uh, and you know. At least not... I just couldn't deal with that. Besides, I really don't want to see it if it was... If it, you know, kind of punched you and you were torn in half. Mm -mm. So, yeah. That won't happen. I know you can handle yourself, but this is I'll like... I'll punch it back. Kid, you're sweet and all that. And, and seriously, you're, one of the be you're probably one of the better people I met in this... Forsaken apocalypse, Oops. and all that, but you really won't don't want to get involved with this, okay? Mm, no fun. No fun, but you stay alive. But it's not worth it if nothing cool happens. <sighs> How do you have this kind of optimism? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna stay here for a while and... Uh, it's been a while since I've slept, so I'm gonna take a quick nap. Feel okay. free to... Good night. Eh, good or night, day. Kid. It's not night time, <laughs> but... Yep. Don't let the sleeping bag bugs bite. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you do whatever you want. You do what you do, kid. Just don't steal too much of my stuff, okay? No promises. Kid. <laughs>